Welcome to this week's episode of TLA. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And also for the returning viewers, my name is Keith Nguyen, also known as the Los Anjovi. On this episode, I travel to New Bullard's Bar, a coconut salmon paradise, in search of this tasty little fish that we chase down on our kayaks. I'm joined by fellow CCK fishing team member Mubo Outdoors and our friend Ando, aka the Link Council, on the special trip. I'm excited for this particular episode because it's my first trip I take out on my new 2023 Tesla Model Y. My first new car in over 15 years. The Tesla Model Y is a crossover SUV and on paper it meets and it needs of everything I do, but we all know that marketing is different from real world practical use. Does the 330 mile range meet up to the specs? Will the Tesla supercharger network leave me stranded on the freeway with no juice? How does a car top to kayak affect the drag performance and overall mileage? I had so many questions, but there was only one way to find out. Let's take a road trip and let the drama unfold on this week's Tesla electrified edition of TLA. Before we start, if you want to know more about kayak fishing, you can always visit my website at www.thelosanchovy.com to learn more about this exciting sport. And also feel free to visit any of our California canoe and kayak stores in the Bay Area to demo kayak. Two weeks before this trip, I picked up my Tesla Model Y with my friend Carlos Minion fan. All right, we are at the Tesla Fremont site where they actually make the Teslas right over there. Pretty big. Huh? Pretty big. It is, it's huge. Yeah. We're just gonna see if actually we can schedule a tour. <laughs> let's, see, let's, see, let's, see, let's see if we can schedule a tour. Yeah, but one of the good things about parking here, uh, get, get, picking up your Tesla here, is that I heard you can you can uh, um, schedule a tour. So let, let's see if we can do that. What but, about free supercharger? Yeah, uh, no, nah, I don't think it's free. I think you have to pay for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So if you're new to buying a Tesla, the process is straightforward with no dealership middleman that you have to haggle prices with. The one big thing that many Tesla owners have anxiety about, besides thin hell, which is a real thing is the build quality of Teslas. For all the hype about technology that goes into the cars, the big con about the brand is the build quality. It's unfortunate that a marketed premium brand car has quality issues that forces customers to play de facto quality assurance line employees, but that's what you get when you buy a Tesla. So Minion and I spent the better part of an hour walking with our service representative to check out panel gaps, head and tail light issues, turn signals, cameras, software bugs that we could immediately report to Tesla to have it fixed. The good news is that on initial inspection, I didn't find anything that stood out, but later on, I did notice some small imperfections in the car that I could have sent back to Tesla for fixing, but I simply decided it wasn't worth the effort. Sometimes the road ahead seems dark as night yeah. Have some faith in yourself, that's the guidance We have arrived at the Marysville Whew. Supercharger So we have roughly about 6% left or 7% which is like right on time as you guys can see, so I'm going to have to go and charge. There's a Chevron right here. I'm going to go to the bathroom, go pick up a few things. And then from there, we're going to wait for Moo and uh, Nando to show up. And then we're going to head out to Bullard's Bar. But pretty good trip so far. Autopilot has been great. Um, this Tesla does definitely make a big difference when you're driving far distances and going fishing. All right, let's charge this up. Sometimes what you want ain't what you need. Sometimes letting go can make your heart bleed. Sometimes the road ahead seems dark as night. Yeah. 
All right, so the trip up to Bullard's Bar is roughly about 60 miles from here, and it'll take roughly um, an hour and about 40 minutes or so. The the car has me saying that I'll have about 40, 45 percent when I reach there, and then I then I gotta come back down, right? Um, but right now I have about 256 miles or so, so so 100 miles, 50 miles that way, and 50 miles back to be 100, and I should have 150 miles spare. But given conditions of going up the hill, the kayak, everything, and only having 40% when I get there, you know, kind of, I don't know, just kind of makes me have a little bit of range anxiety here. Um, I'm trying to charge it up as much as I can. Moo and, and Nando aren't going to get here until later on in about another uh, another 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to try to charge up as much as I can. Uh, make sure I have plenty, plenty of um, energy to take it back. But it's charged from like 8%, almost 90% in like less than 25 minutes or so. It's pretty, pretty darn fast. Um, so I should almost get about close to 280 miles. I'm going to try to get up to 280 miles charging here before I leave. Um, and then when, when they get here, um, we're just going to go. And I, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I should have enough. And I should have enough. It's only 50 odd miles up there, right? But And I have almost 280 miles. So up there and back. So it's going to be about 100 miles. Alright, we just got out of Bullard's Bar. Oh boy, that was a long drive. That was a long drive. But I wasn't driving. Cause my car was driving, bro. So, if I didn't stick out already enough, you see all that right there? Trucks, 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 boat, 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 me. Because I'm weird that way. It's cold. It's cold. You too, eh? It's for you too, eh? <laughs> It's for you too, eh? Yeah, fish on. Oh, jumped. Extra small. Extra coconut small. Ah, oh, yay! My first fish in weeks! <laughs> yeah, boy! Yeah! These stickers, look at that. Boat wrap fish. Look at that, guys. Nice. Little kokanee. So, plenty of uh, small ones here. Alright, guys, I'm on a fish. Negative. Came up. Oh man, tiny little thing. Oh, it came off. So small. Oh, nice size. The trout. Fish are biting. Fish are biting. Oh, fish, fish on, fish on. Ah. 
Oh my god, double! D double! Double coke! Wow, they're all over the place. Got a double. Check that out. Check that out. Nice little coat. One. Two. Nice coat. Yeah? Got it? Yeah. Come on. Got another fish on? Oh yeah. Nice little fish. Oh. Oh, it's nice. It's easy. little fish right there, that's four. Four. Ooh. That's one I have to decide. That's a fighter. Alright guys, quick update. So, we had a pretty good bite earlier. The fish were kind of on. I had doubles on and, and everything. And it was, the action was pretty good. And then like fish, it kind of just died off. So, it's been like maybe an hour or two and I haven't really got much action. Actually, I haven't got to shoot in. Coconut. Nice it's beautiful coconut. So that was at twenty feet. Another fish. Oh. No. Yeah. Fish off. <laughs> fish. They're right here. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh. Damn it, fish. Damn it, fish. Damn. Dude, they're like here, 30 feet down. 30 feet. <laughs> Dude, they're all right here, dude. Some will come out. Double. Double. Hello, Momo. Bye bye, Momo. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back at the dock. What a day. It was a wide open kokanee bike. At least for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not for Moo. <laughs> Moo's over there with a sad face and Nando as well. Oh, Nando did well. Well, Nando has his own story to tell. What, what was it again, Nando? Uh, it's called Paulina Peak. Paulina Peak. So I'll look at that and I'll leave a link in the description to that. And also the micro hoochies, right? Yeah. The micro hoochies. And, and those were his setup was just on fire. Uh, he gave it to me and whatever. And it worked. And it worked well. And that's what we did. We found the small fish. See? We got a bag of kokanee. That was a great day. Uh, we look forward to 
some more kokanee fishing as some of you guys may know that the salmon season this year is closed so that's gonna be a bummer for a lot of things but um but we're definitely gonna try to do something a little different so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you enjoy it like subscribe and share and like who says go out and enjoy the outdoors go outside enjoy the outdoors